Yeah. Hi there, today yeah. we are... Yeah. Stop it. Um, hi there, today we're trying this. This is the Kamakanda uh, from Gaia 2012. Um, George is quite excited. He's, he's, a, he's, he's tried a few of these before and he's, uh, he's a big fan of Gaia's wines. Um, for those of you that don't know, Angelo Gaia is basically a legend in, 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 um, in Italy. He really modernized how Italy makes its wine. Um, he was the first to do green harvest on Nebbiolo. He was the first to do things like uh, malolactic fermentation. He did single vineyard wines before anybody else was doing it. He also planted French grapes before before anyone was doing it, and this is what we're trying. Um, so he was originally in Piedmont, but he's uh, he's also in 1996 bought uh, this company uh, and uh, in in Tuscany, and that's what we're we're trying today. Um, he's I think third generation uh, of of winemaker um, Giovanni uh, Gaia was his uh, was his great his grandfather. Anyway, he started the company in 1859. Um, and uh, Angelo joined in 1961, I think it was. Um, he's passed his, his uh, company on to uh, his daughters, um, and uh, yeah, we're going to give this a shot and see what it's like. Um, just in case you are interested, uh, we did a, an interview with uh, Angelo Gaia on uh, my wine blog, the tasting notes, so we've put the, 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 the interview we did with him uh, on the website as well, um, under six questions, so just look up there on the website and you'll be able to um, uh, you'll be able to uh, see see that, um, that that interview so what do you think on the nose it's pretty awesome there's a lot of yeah. there's cherries but then there's a lot of earth some tobacco and it's 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 a bit uh, closed down I think yeah um, it's a bit restrained at the moment um, but it is I mean it's it's 2012 so it's it's, yeah. it's gonna yeah. be it, it's it gonna looks be very young yeah um, and it's, I mean, it is, it is quite dark. It's you're getting, you're getting a lot of that tobacco. You're getting, but you're also getting this elegant sort of floral mm. yeah. cherry fruit, I think, coming yeah. through. Um, and uh, it's just, it, it smells like good Bordeaux, maybe from a slightly warmer year. And and it makes sense, you know, uh, the area that they're in 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 Tuscany is quite similar to to, to um, Bordeaux in in climate. So um, it makes sense for it to be like that. It's very bright. It's very bright on the palate. Um, yeah. Quite <laughs> nice acidity. Nice acidity, very clean. Lots of tannin. I mean, yeah. bucket yeah. loads of tannin, yeah. but that's just because it's young and we've just opened it, so it's. But it also doesn't taste like fourteen percent alcohol by volume. No, which no. is impressive. Um, no, it's 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 really really well integrated and. And the booze isn't there. No. Um, fabulous, fabulous wine. Um, we'll be doing a deal on it. Have a look on the page for that. Um, and. Uh, and yeah, also have a look at the, the six, six questions with Angelo Gaia. So that's the uh, Kamakanda Magari 2012 from Gaia.